letting go of past experiences. So where we have trouble is understanding what to let go and what not to let go. And this is where we go into chaos, literally chaos, because we don't know what to let go and what not to let go. And we're left literally like frustrated because we must first of all understand what to let go and what not let to go let go we can't just get stuck in the chaotic algorithm of like injustice because injustice represents not knowing what's good for us and what will always serve us and what will always be good for us is love so if we love someone then that person is not someone to let go, even if they're absolutely chaos in our lives. The answer is not letting them go because chaos is only coming from acceptance. And acceptance is the key to moving forward, but what's not moving forward is convincing us that we can't, we can't accept this person anymore, we need to let them go, but we love them. And this is where we ultimately get lost and confused is because everything's telling them, telling us to let them go. But at the same time, we're accepting this person for who they are. And it's ultimately, it's inverted. And this is why it's inverted, because we want this reality, it wants us to get stuck in this field of chaotic algorithms where it gives us the truth, which is we should be accepting, but at the same time, it's trying to teach us to let them go. And first of all, let's congratulate ourselves because for many of us, where where we have the potential to to shift our our mindset and, and shift ourselves back to understanding how to get back on the right path. So that's that's ultimately our greatest positive because no matter how fucked up our minds are in this present moment, we have the we have the head start because naturally inside of ourselves, we're given the essence of the heart's combination and the heart's combination will always lead us back to the path of um, righteousness, which is our universal, um, which is our, essentially our universal you know, foundation is that we always have the ability to come back to righteousness, which is the essence of um, the universal principles of of creation, which is nothing can be distorted over uh, an extended amount of time. Everything is given choice. Therefore, everything can find its way back to truth. Now, what we must understand is that we first of all must understand that lovers self will never want to be thrown away no matter how much chaos is in our lives we must understand to do one thing and one thing only is we always must look at love as the honor in our lives no matter how much it may not be serving us it is serving us and it's it's the world which is creating this distorted awareness to try and convince us to throw love away but it's the choices which we make which can learn to honour the love and learn to shift enough space in between the distortion and the truth. The truth is is that love itself is the most powerful frequency we can ever connect ourselves to. Therefore, there's absolutely in, it's insanity to convince ourselves from running away from it or to try and shelter from it. What we must learn to do is learn to accept it and then generate space. So we're partway there. We're accepting, potentially accepting the suffering in our lives, which is generating the voices in our head, which is convincing us to throw the love away. But all we must do is accept the love and understand that the love in this moment may not be serving our best purpose, but I'm not going to give it up. I'm going to stay loving and I'm going to generate whatever's needed to separate myself from the suffering, from the from the toxicity, I'm going to separate it, but I'm going to still going to love you. What this will do, it will generate strength, courage, and protection from any attachment that's causing the pain or the suffering. 